Ares, the god of war, was feared and despised for his violent nature. Even his father Zeus preferred his daughter Athena, who was known for her wisdom and courage. This explores some lesser-known stories about Ares and what he meant to those who encountered him in ancient times. Ares, the god of war, was actually liked by one goddess Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. She was attracted to his handsome looks and strong physique, unlike her husband Hephaestus, who was not as appealing. Despite Hephaestus working hard to please her, Aphrodite felt neglected and craved attention. When Ares returned from a conquest covered in blood, Aphrodite made a move to clean him up, starting a secret affair that resulted in four children. Ares doesn't have a big role in Greek mythology because Athena is seen as better. They were always competing and didn't get along. Athena was admired for being smart and strong, while Ares was not. He was not liked by the Greeks. Ares in Greek mythology is mainly associated with conflict, particularly the Trojan War. Initially neutral, he was convinced by Aphrodite to join the Trojans, despite promising Hera and Athena to fight for the Archaeans. During the battle, Ares was wounded by Athena's guidance, causing the Trojan forces to retreat. Ares later wanted to switch sides, but was forbidden by Zeus. He eventually retaliated against Athena, but she bested him again. Ares, the Greek god of war, once got kidnapped by two brothers, Otis and Ephialtes, also known as the Elodi. They kept him in a giant bronze jar for a whole year and would only release him if the goddess Artemis agreed to marry one of them. When Artemis showed up, they let Ares go, but then fought over who would marry her. In the chaos, they accidentally killed each other while Artemis tried to escape by turning into a deer. Ares, the god of war, always fought alongside his children, Phobos, Deimos, and Anilios, representing fear, terror, and discord. The Amazons, a female warrior tribe, are believed to be direct descendants of Ares, with their queen Hippolyta being gifted a magical girdle by Ares. Additionally, the sacred shrines of the Amazons were guarded by Ares' bird-like creatures, similar to the man-eating Stymphalian birds defeated by Heracles. In ancient Greek mythology, what does Ares signify? Simply put, he was a deity driven purely by his passions. He had a violent personality and battle lust that could not be tamed. Even though he doesn't appear in many ancient stories, when he does, you can be certain that violence soon ensues.